yeah hi everyone so welcome back and uh, today i'll show you the advanced editing how we can manage the timeline and the tools and uh, recently i explained how we can work with you know modification panel which is called effect control so if you haven't seen that video just watch that video and then you will understand how we can edit all the footages together just go to here and uh, first we will import the footages so this time we are going to see you know multiple footages and here we will manage everything together so here if we manage all the layers placements uh, motions and uh, audios everything that is comes under you know the advanced editing i'll show you how it's work so these are the my footages which i recorded so this is the footage which I captured in the same place and uh, using the tripod, I handled everything. So do double click check if in this footage you can see the bottle, but inside this video you cannot see the bottle. So similarly, you have to capture, you know, these videos or if you do not have these videos, don't worry. I'll give you in the description link from there. You can download this footage. So now first thing is we have to get this video here, drag and drop. So once you will drag and drop, then it will create automatically the size according to your footage, right? Now the thing is, if I again go with this option to double click and check from the source window. So this area is called the source window. So directly from here, you can scrub and you can check, right? And if there is a bottle, it means in this footage, there is no bottle. Do double click and get this video directly from here. So from here, we can, you know, drag the video or else the audio. But this time, if we want both, then directly we can drag like this and drop like this way. So I can see the video along with audio also. Right? just i want to delete okay now go to here and i want to bring only the video so from here if you like go for the in mark and out mark also you can do like i want you know the specific frame or the range from here like i want to decide the mark in and mark out so from like this particular i can drag and drop like this way now you can see so now I want, you know, whole uh, the video. So I'll say mark in, mark out, but till the end and drag the video out here like this. But this time just we want to delete this audio because it's creating unwanted noise. So do right click and just say unlink. Okay. How I did this, you understood. Just do right click and you can use this option, which is unlink. So I just deleted. Now I can see we have two different layers and in this layer we can set the visibility also. So this is the first layer and this is the background layer. Understood. But in this video, I can see only the single video at a time, right? See, just enable both the video. Then you can see, you know, blank or blank area of your composition. So this is called the program window. I explained in the previous video, just watch everything. Huh? Now, this is the footage. After few seconds, like if it is in five seconds, I can just zoom and zoom out like this way from here directly. So after, after, after four seconds or three seconds, like from here directly, you can go with, you know, specific time. This is called the TCR. So under the TCR, I can go with, you know, like value exact value. I say three seconds. So from here, I want to mark the cut. So we have two different ways to cut directly. I can use the tool to cut like this, right? And after, you know, use this tool, you can delete the rest of area like this. So now I can see now automatically it's gone like this understood 
or else we have different way i'll say again the undo undo right so go to in the edge of this end frame and drag like this so i can adjust like this way also but this is the right way from here you can go you know with exact value 3 and uh, i say it to zero frame and say eraser or else we have the shortcut huh? shortcut means control k once you will press the control key then it will become cut like this select the layer first and say control and k understood in the right hand side you can see the shortcuts huh? so i use control k to cut the specific in layer and the selection right so i hope you understood so after this means from here we mark the cut yes got so this time just i want to adjust some you know uh, like footages here so do double click just get all the footages together here so falling glass cracking glass and the muzzle so these three footages i just want to bring here okay so first we will add this muzzle so muzzle you can download from youtube there you will get you know lots of uh, uh, footages uh, related to muzzles so from there you can download see with along with the smoke it's you know gives you the visuals so i'll drag directly from here to here see but the position is not good i want to adjust this video so go to in the effect control and select the layer and i'll use the position and you would like to scale it again you can visually you can like give the values see but after this you know like bottle visibility i can adjust like this drag yes so it is in right time it is going to play here now the thing is just get your audio so where is the audio this is my audio right and this audio is going to be here so just drag the only audio part but i can see waves are here so you can drag like this and you can cut and i will keep this it to here understood guys so just i added you know muzzle here and the audio also so we have four different layers i can see and you all can like uh, see this area is called the audio layers right and uh, from here we can adjust the video layers so how we can you know like easily work with different footages we can merge and we can place together so i explain so i hope everyone understood this and uh, you will do the practice i'll give you the footages in the description okay any other footages you would like to add like uh, actually uh, falling glass we want to add like this but this video is not appropriate for this particular footage but you want to adjust or you want to add like this you can so here just i want to you know give this falling glass effect so i can say this but the problem is uh, we have to increase the size again so go to here in the effect control i can do the scale like this but we have to add you know fast motion here so simply just do right click and uh, from here we can adjust the time value from here this is called speed and duration i can adjust the value 
okay if i say 25 it is going to increase you know the value uh 25 percent extra so do right click again you'll uh, have to adjust the same values from here so i say 400 it is going to become you know like four time faster and again we have to you know give the placement for the time right but this is in not uh, like happening in the right place so i'll select the motion and i'll move little bit here okay guys i hope everyone understood how i did this and uh, step by step just follow and watch the video again if you are not understanding okay so for today bye bye we will meet again in the next video thank you